Can you spot the difference between a factory racer and a privateer? How about the gap between skill and luck? Oh my goodness! Nine out of ten people on the internet agree. That the more support a racer has, the luckier they get. The most important thing in a rider's life or career is the group they have around them. At this race, we have um, a dietitian. We have two physios. My mechanic is Kevin. We have uh, Jean Louis, which is our truck driver. We also have um, a performance manager. Renato is on the track taking videos for social media. Tim is new to the team as well. I guess three years now. Is we have a big team. Holy shit. <laughs> You know, sometimes you, you are born in a super nice family and in a nice place, and I feel like that's what happened to me with the teams. Okay, got it. Factory racers are supported by a team of top-notch staff and constant encouragement from the mountain biking equivalent of Flavor Flav. Yeah, boy! But what about the racers balling on a budget? The privateers? I look at the privateer as someone that has done really, really well regionally. You know, they're working out of the back of a van, maybe partnering with a bunch of other athletes in the same situation. It really comes down to uh, how tough you can be. I respect the ones that come from really far because they from New Zealand, Australia, South America sometimes. Bueno, que es campeón nacional de, de juvenil y la asociación y la federación de Costa Rica me ayudaron a participar en eventos internacionales y pues todas estas giras y, y eventos eh, internacionales pues uno por decirlo así se la juega con lo que tiene y con lo que la familia aporta para poder If you want to do a top 10 it's way harder for you than for a factory team guy because you have to work twice as much and with less resources Obviously we haven't got the uh... Factory pit. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Phil is just there waiting for the interview. Yeah. Might not look professional, but um, when you, you go a bit deeper, like it's actually pretty solid. That was fast. Velocity at well, we call him when he's riding like this. Ninth in Andorra. I was very excited there. There was a fifth place in Lenza High 2017, and then there was last year in Luso. Phil Atwell goes into eighth place. To be honest, like running my own problem this year is such like a breath of fresh air. Like I can employ my friends, I can employ who I trust. So this is Mel's mechanic workshop. We've had mechanics coming over just like wishing they could have a little setup like we've got going. So between runs, I come in the back here and have a little lay down and go through the track. Maybe the budget's not as big as it would be for a factory team. This is Stevie and Max from uh, Flow Drop sponsoring us with food for the week. We can have as much fun as we want. That's what riding is about for me. If you want a beer, come to our bit. Do you miss anything from your privateer life? Drinking beer every day, maybe. <laughs> Obviously, the pit looks a bit like sketchy to you guys, but oh, it's great. Like honestly, couldn't ask for more this year. Like having a good time, just riding bikes. Sometimes the privateer have less stress than the top rider. Like. They have no pressure. You could see them at the start. They're like, woohoo. It's, it's so cool to see that. I've got no outer pressure from a higher up, someone from a company. This is how we want to go racing, you know? We don't want any pressure from anyone else. Let's go to the top then. Phil Atwill now on track. Honestly, I respect all the privateers. There's faster ones for sure. Looking at how fast these riders are going. Different line there as well. Coming across the line. Wow, look at that. You know that your line, you know your bike is good. Then you check all your teammates and your staff and you can see in their eyes, they just rely on you for doing a good job and 
the last touch depends on you and so that brings a lot of weight on your shoulders. I just want to do well for them. Louis Bruni then, specialized gravity rider. Yeah, I'm on my game all day, the same all day. Took me a long time, but never quit it, no way. Tenth in Leah Gang. Bajay, a race he'd rather forget, getting caught out by the rain that came down for the last riders. When I ride, I just I ride with everybody in the back, you know, in the backpack. So, Collage's time surely is going to go. Here comes Louis Brody and goes fast there. It's a really cool experience because when we lose, I feel like they have my back and they can help me get back up for the next one. And also when we win, it's the best feeling. The man who won both the World Cup races here last year. The man who was fastest qualifier. It's going to take something special from this Frenchman. Going for a triple of wins here as well. 0.2 back of the first flip. On the hard on the pedals, and Verger goes faster. The team owner Prella by 0.4 through that rock section. Every man for himself when they lean and ride. Emojis all on the post. Put your hands in crap. Tuck it all the way down here then. Oh, Vive la Vergier! 1.7 in the green! Laris Vergier wins Maribor! I really respect when a privateer is dealing, you know, he's not having catered food, he's not getting a massage. You're spending time trying to support yourself at the same time trying to get a result. Confidence is this sport's most valuable currency. And the shortest path towards weapons-grade self-assurance is to surround yourself with the right people doing the right things. I'm part of Ghost Factor Racing since 2016, so from that year on, I really had a stable environment. It gave me the opportunity to progress. I had the people around me that I needed. That gave me the confidence when I could not give the confidence to myself. Ghost Factory Racing consists of five riders, female riders, and also five people in the staff. Our team is like a, a small family. The team who is standing behind you and supports you, and I really can concentrate fully on my riding, and that makes us even stronger. My name is Brad Copeland. I'm Kate Courtney's mechanic uh, for Scott's Ram Mountain Bike Racing, and I kind of will sort of just more or less run her whole race program. I know what I'm doing. I don't know why uh, I'm doing it. Because I'm just working for Kate, basically, I have a lot of time to spend adding those extra touches. We'll run through the bike quickly, make sure everything is set. What did you do to the suspension on this bike? What do you mean? It like, feels like it's it better than the time the before. It's cool. Good. I slowed the rebound down on the fork. A mountain bike super team may stack the deck in your favor, but no amount of support eliminates the risk between the tape. One small lapse in concentration means a reset to factory settings, and the harsh realization that with or without you, the show must go on. Kate Courtney, a broken arm. I mean, it's not ideal, is it, mid-season? So can anyone match Loana Lacombe, the winner of the first two rounds? Unbeaten, and this course the biggest climbs we're going to see all year on this year's World Cup. And we are underway then. And Yolanda now firing out the front in the red. Bailey Batten there in third. Lacombe now with the number one on her back. Big, long climb now. Oh, this is a daunting prospect, I would say. Dead straight, nowhere to hide. So Lecomte crossing the line in the first position again. On a Terpstra from the Netherlands. And there's Laura Stigger, the hometown favourite. And Stigger now up onto Pauline Ferran Prevot. Fifth place for Stigger. Looking like she had the second fastest lap time. She's on the move, Laura Stigger. Different lines down here. Stigger on the B route. And Stigger punching past them there. 
So, Lecomte, this woman is unbelievable. Stieger is overtaking Neff. Yes, she feels as well. That's not fast enough. Stieger now ahead of Pauline Fran Prevo then. It's nice to stand next to my idol, Jenny Rizvet, um, Yolanda Neff. Wow, Rizvet, then the Olympic champion. For me, it was a big motivation to stand next to my idols and if I'm on the back wheel of them. But um, you have to ignore them and give your best. Luana Lacombe then. It's a hat trick of cross country Olympic wins in 2021. Jenny Rizvets then is going to take second place, her first podium since that win back in 2019. And look what it means to Laura Stigger, her best elite cross country Olympic finish. We all do our job, and after the race, we are super nice friends again. And that makes the mountain bike life and also the atmosphere super nice. You'd be forgiven for thinking that one. Privateers are racing for all the right reasons. Gracias Costa Rica y espero representar al país como tiene que ser en estas carreras y las que tengan que venir. Pura vida. And two. Factory racers really seem to have a huge advantage. You'd be right in both cases. We've just got the freedom to do it how we want to do it. This is how we want to go racing. We just want to do it because we love it. And therein lies the paradox of World Cup racing. You need to love to ride, but you also need to ride to win.